What's going on guys? It's been a little while. Good guy Sid here with another good guy first looks. Today we're actually going to do the iJoy Katana Universal Kit. No information on the back, just uh, nothing regarding the kit. Just a couple other things saying not for sale to minors, which is a good thing to have on your products. Pretty big box. I'm not sure what I'm expecting in here. You know I love my box of goodies. Let's take a closer look inside and see what this whole Universal Kit is. Alright, so we got the box open and... Wow, there's a lot that comes in here. Um, I'm not sure what each one is just yet, but so we have the device, which I'm gonna take out. Looks like it would be like something close to like the IPV, if you guys remember the D3. Looks something like that. Oh no, wow, this is a pretty s slim, sleek device, small. It's about, looks like a, just a it's super large 2700 battery, like an extra long version of that. So first off, what we have here kind of looks like a Falcon tank, but obviously it's not. Horizon Tech. So we have their iJoy. I wish they would put the name of what's in the kit on the back. I, maybe they were going for the element of surprise on that. I'm not sure, but I'm not sure what they're calling this tank. It's obviously their own iJoy tank. Um, this is pretty cool because right off the bat, a little unique thing is their airflow design. It's just a little triangle instead of being a regular slot. I guess in a way, I guess that kind of changes a little bit on how the airflow is adjustable. It might be a little bit more specific to what you want out of it. Kind of resembles something close to, I would say, the uh, TFV12 prints. Okay, this opens like the dually, just a little pushback. And right when you push it back, you can fill it, and then you just slide it back to close it. That's a pretty nice tank. Looks like it goes up to 80 watts, so I'm guessing it's an 80 watt device. Again, no information on the box, so I'm not sure yet, but we'll figure it out as we go. The second one I see here on the bottom left is this little tank. Again, no names on these tanks or anything like that. Okay, so it's actually not a tank. This is really cool. I haven't seen a company do this yet. It's actually a um, pod system similar to like the Aspire Sprite where you would unscrew the bottom base, screw the coil onto it. This is pretty cool. It has airflow on that bottom of where you would screw the coil to. And then it's got a little plug in the back where you would fill the juice from. So it's different, different. I'm interested to see how that works out. So it looks like you kind of have a device where you would use your free brace nick and possibly, depending on the airflow in this thing, your salt nick as well. So that's a pretty good kit. They thought about it. They really thought this thing out here. We have a third tank, which looks like a mini, just a mini tank. Let me go ahead and unscrew this top if it unscrews. Nope, airflow's on the bottom. So this airflow is a little different. Basically it's got pre-drilled holes. The ring has the master size hole. And then around the tank, it gets smaller and smaller so you can tighten the airflow. The top doesn't unscrew. So I'm not sure how we would open this tank. Oh, there we go. Uh, we'd open it from the bottom to take the coil out. Not sure how we would fill the top though. Let's take a look and see. Okay, so the way you install these coils, another difference. Normally on tanks, the coils screw down onto the base. In this tank, you're actually gonna push the coil onto the inside of the chimney of the tank, and then you go ahead and screw in the base. Different design. Also interested to see how this tank works out. Now if only, maybe it's a push, maybe it's just a pull. Oh, there we go. Okay, so that was a like push down and then twist kind of thing, almost like a child safety lock on a tank. That's interesting. I joy playing with basically a bunch of their ideas, throwing it all into one big kit, and hopefully for a really good value as well, but that's how you would fill it, it's a top fill. I have to say that I've reviewed a couple things now, and this has to be one of the most creative. Definitely one of the most creative kits that I've had the pleasure of reviewing. Let's see what that last one is. This one looks like an RDA, most likely is. Yep, this is the Katana RDA. So, so far every thing that they've been giving us here is slightly different in some way. You have the tank that kind of looks like the TFV-12 by Smoke. It's got its own slight differences. It's like a smoke tank mixed with the dually, slightly different design, has its own aesthetics, nice style to the airflow. Then you have what's like a little pod system. Then you have like a child safety lock, smaller, maybe CBD tank, um, because that coil that's in there is actually pretty small too. And now you have the RDA. So it looks like it's a, literally probably one of the only companies that can say they made an all-in-one kit in a different sense. You could vape on your pod, you could vape an RDA, you have the variety of, of trying out different things. This Katana RDA is pretty interesting. Looks like we have more of like a clamp style build in here. So the negative on the top and the positive on the bottom. That's a pretty interesting thing. We'll get a close up of that so you guys can take a look at that. We have the Kennedy style airflow from the bottom of the building deck and then the airflow design by twisting your cap to the left or right, which will actually reveal the air holes on the base of the deck. I like it, it's different. I think that they're onto something. 
So now let's take a look at the device. We've taken a look at the four tanks that are in here. That's well thought out. Now we have the device. So I'm guessing just like any other device, it's a five clicks on, five clicks off. It says Katana, and let me see if it goes past 80 watts, because the coil in the one tank does say up to 80 watts, I'm guessing. Right now it's saying 81 watts. So I'm guessing it's a smart device. It knows how far it can go up depending on what the charge is and what coil is on the device. Let's uh, fill these tanks up with juice and try them out. Let's, let's vape them. This is an interesting tank also. It's not just a regular coil. Um, it's actually a mesh strip on the inside. So the flavor we get out of here should be quite enjoyable. And but we'll find out. We're gonna test it out right now and see what this thing could do. So now we have everything filled. Um, I did notice that it comes with an RDA. The only thing is that it's a Squonk RDA and this is not a Squonk device. I don't know why they would put it in there since it's not a Squonk device, but I mean, I could see the added value that it gives the box. I mean, it's another extra bang for your buck. And I mean, who doesn't like a nice little freebie there? And after you get through these devices, it's almost like it stages beginner to whatever you want to call it, beginner, intermediate, advanced. So you have your small, bottom airflow, tiny tank, you know, simple coils, just a very simple design. Then you have your pod system, then you have your high wattage cloud chaser tank, if you know, just for lack of a better term there. And then you have your RDA. So after you've experienced all those, this would be the next, and maybe you'd want to end up buying a squonk. And this would be a good squonk to start with, I guess. Kind of confused, because I mean, it's a very experienced building deck, and uh, it's not a squonk device. So it's weird that it specifically gave you squonk pin in there. Um, I'll take a closer look at the box. I'll pull up the foam and see if we have anything under it. You know, when I pull up that foam, hopefully we do have more information in on this box. Let's try that tank at 40 watts. I'm excited to try that mesh coil. Forty watts is not enough. Let's crank it up to about fifty. So far, navigation on this thing is pretty straightforward. Kind of looks like the like a Yihi chip, and what you would find like I think it's the SX. J Classic or something like that. So it looks like you're, you know, or like a DNA chip, something like that. Well, that's why it's not firing. This thing goes up to 80. Let's bring it up to 65. And then we're gonna take a closer look at the actual device. Oh yeah, good cloud production. A little tall to the hand, if you guys can see that. It is a little tall. I don't really like tall devices. I like low profile. I like to have it, you know, like this. That's just me though. So right off the bat, it'll say no atomizer because I don't have a tank. If I click it three times, now it's gonna go to, it says P mode, that's power mode. If I hit the right button, it goes MTL. So that tank, the top left tank is gonna be known as the MTL tank, mouth to lung tank. And then that bottom left tank will actually be the pod tank. Click it three times. Now it's on bypass. We're gonna switch it over to pod. And now pod, it automatically lowers your voltage down to 2.5. So we're gonna screw that tank on here and vape that and see how it is. Turn it up, it's 3.8 volts. That's good pod. It actually reminds me of the Aspire Sprite. It's kind of the similar design in the pod where it has that coil on the bottom of it. The airflow is controlled the same way, except now it's like the pod is divided in two and you put that into like a pod adapter that looks like a tank on your device. Great airflow on this thing. Bravo iJoy. I would, I can honestly see myself vaping that and enjoying every moment of it. Let's try the MTL tank. We're gonna click the device three times. We're gonna switch it from pod mode, past power mode, past temp mode, past puff rest, or puff probably reset is what that is. Pass the exit, pass power mode, onto MTL. We hit the fire button to you know submit that setting. It sets it down to 15 watts for us. These are good tanks. They all produce really good flavor. They all produce a decent amount of vapor production. I mean, they, the coils, they wicked fairly quickly. Um, I only filled the tank about 10 seconds ago. I like it. So we're actually not going to try the RDA out, the Katana RDA, specifically because it's a Squonk RDA and it's not a Squonk device. But again, it's a nice value that comes in the box. Um, so just to take a final look at this thing before we call it a day, I'm gonna pull the foam out of here. So in the bottom, 
Like I said, there's probably a couple things I didn't know was there. We have the warranty card. We have the manual. Kind of gives you the device specs and I believe some instructions. But since it's a first look, I don't peek. And in here, cool, we got some goodies. This is awesome. So they really, really give you like everything in this universal kit. Replacement glass for the, the tank that's there. Replacement parts for the fill, for, uh, more mesh. Not sure if you'd be rebuilding that coil yourself, but if you did, that'd be pretty cool. This might actually be mesh pieces for the RDA. I see some extra screws, a spring, all useful things, an extra coil. This one actually does 50 to 90 watts. So the first coil only did up to 80, this does up to 90. Then there is the spare coil for the MTL tank. A screwdriver, USB charger, cause it is a built-in battery. Another spare coil for the pod. And then some extra cotton for wicking for that uh, RDA. So all in all, I think this is a great kit. Like I said, you get a bang for your buck, different variety in vaping. If you want something low key and you're gonna go out and you don't want like a big cloud going behind you, you just want the MTL tank or maybe a pod system for your Nick salt. Or if you're just going out, hanging out and you just don't mind the cloud, you have your regular um, sub ohm tank. And then you have the RDA, which would be nice if they did include a pin instead of the squonk pin so that you could switch those out. This is a really, really cool universal kit. Not sure what it retails for, but I can see definitely customers really enjoying buying this and spending their money on something that they get almost multiple devices out of one. So this is a very, very, I would say job well done iJoy. It's you know been a long time that you guys have been out, but I don't think you quite put anything out just like this. This is a really, really cool device, really cool tanks, all good flavor. I would definitely like where you guys are headed. I don't know if it's gonna come in any other colors or any varieties, but I mean, even just with the silver, you're getting a lot out of one little kit. I could see myself going out and picking it up. Thank you for checking out Good Guy First Looks. We appreciate you checking out and commenting on our videos. Just remember to always like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you guys on the next one.